Hello there and welcome back. I am Omega M, and today we have Venom vs. Blue Beetle, Eddie Brock vs. Jaime Reyes. So, uh, let's let's get this thing started. Intelligence. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this to to uh, Eddie Brock. First of all, Eddie Brock, being an adult, is smarter than Jaime Reyes, who is a for more or less a, a child, uh, like he's a teenager, I should say. I wouldn't say he's a child, but he's he's a teenager. He's probably you know he doesn't have a full. I, I would say he's as smart as Eddie Brock. And uh, from what I, they're both they're both technically not considered geniuses by any stretch of the imagination, but I'd probably go with Ven. I'd probably go with Venom on this one. Uh, tactics. The Scarab is incredibly knowledgeable, I would say, in terms of tactics and combat. And it does have very, again, you could say it's somewhat instinctual. It does go off of impulse, too. But it also does happen to offer Jaime some battle, you know, guidance. Because obviously Jaime is the host. It needs to protect its host. So, in terms of tactics and strategy, I'd give it to, the, to uh, Blue Beetle. Fighting ability. Yeah, no. Hey, Brock, for sure. No question. Strength. Blue Beetle's got enhanced strength, but it's probably nowhere near Eddie Brock, who, at his base form, is a 70-tonner, but with, in with greater muscle mass, it's proportional. So you can imagine the bigger he gets, the stronger he gets. Right? Speed. Um, as far as speed goes, I'd have to give that to Blue Beetle. Jet thrusters, you know, flying flight speed probably. Running speed, I don't know. But when it comes to overall speed, I'd have to give that to Jaime Reyes. Durability. Um. Yeah, I'd, I'd give, give that to Eddie Brock. Uh, according to the uh, Marvel database, he has a 6 durability out of a 7 point scale. The only other Marvel character that I've seen so far that has a 6 durability is Odin. Obviously, he's probably not as durable as Odin, but if he's even remotely close to Odin, that puts him way above Blue Beetle. Immortability. Yeah, that armor. Blue Beetle's armor is very advanced and realistically if you can separate eddie brock from the symbiote which if you know it's a weakness which jaime probably will throw at the fight it probably won't be hard to, to to beat him energy projection his scarab can pretty much i think transform into any weapon like his uh, armor can like uh yeah so it's called tech technomorphy i again i apologize if i mispronounce it but Jaime can manipulate the armor to take many shapes, usually in the form of weaponry. So, that gives him a lot. And the same thing goes with versatility. X-Factor. He has got an energy pulse, an energy shield, and he can produce various other weapons. Likely, he'll produce a uh, sonic weapon from his armor that will, of course, weaken the symbiote. And as soon as he notices that, he's going to take advantage of it. And once they separate Venom from Brock, that's it. It's over. Because if this is a fight to death, Brock's, like, Venom's going to die. Or I should say, Eddie Brock's going to die. Venom will find another host. But if they can extinguish Venom too, then they can do that. Which they might be able to. But, um, I'd have to say that Overall, when I look at the, when I think of this fight, how do I picture this thing? Yeah, I picture that Venom's going to gain the upper hand earlier, but Blue Beetle's going to use some sort. He's going to use the energy cannon or a plasma cannon. He's going to come up with some sort of energy-based device, or he's going to come, or he's going to uh, have a energy-based device equipped. He's going to use it, and it's going to expose Venom's weakness, which, from my understand, is uh, fire and a certain uh range of sound i don't know what the i don't know what the i don't know what the range is but 
Um, I know he is vulnerable to sound. So, more likely than not, uh, Blue Beetle should be able to win this. And uh, not to mention, whenever Venom is exposed to his weaknesses, it's kind of like Superman to Kryptonite. It's very clear. And as soon as the... Because the Scarab will notice it too, right? And as soon as the Scarab notices it, he's going to exploit it 100% completely. It's not going to be... I said, to me, it really won't... Oh, yeah. Actually, no, I just noticed. I missed something entirely, and I apologize for that. Uh, I forgot to include healing capabilities. Uh, again, I apologize for this. And as far as healing capabilities go, I'll give that to Brock. I'll give that to Teddy Brock. And, yeah. I would say that it goes to Teddy Brock. Probably because I think the, the symbiote is very durable. And can enable, you know, him to recuperate. Or the symbiote can recuperate uh, wounds faster. And I don't think the Scarab has that sort of capability with a Jaime. So I, I'd give that to, to Venom. Anyways, uh, that is it. That uh, covers this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, I mean, if you want, subscribe, like, share, whatever you want, right? And I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.